Hey Vikes, today we have more information on the Pi the Teacher fundraiser. I'm Allie. I'm Haley, and you're watching SVTV. Internship applications are due by midnight tonight. Go to the Class of 2019 Schoology page to access the application. Sophomores, the bank is taking applications for, next, for the next two years. Stop by the bank to pick up an application. Interviews will be held during the week of March 5th. The Norse Nook will be open on March 9th during all lunches for students to buy Viking apparel. FCCLA needs 15 volunteers to help with the pot of gold on March 7th. They also need donations for the taco meal fundraiser. See Ms. Whitley in room E5 for more information. International Thespian Society will be selling messages next week during lunch at the show. For one dollar, you can send a message to your friends in the cast or on the crew. See Ms. Murphy in W7 with any questions. Art students interested in going to Wichita on March 10th to view the Scholastic Art Show can get a permission slip from Mr. LaDuke in room 901 by this Thursday. Now over to sports with Haley after this quick commercial break. When using the restroom, follow these procedures. Report all foul behavior. There's graffiti on the door. Okay, I'll get it. Keep the restroom clean and graffiti free. Use the restroom in a timely manner. Flush the toilet every time. Wash your hands with soap. Be a Viking. Respect the restroom. Seaman strong. Cyberbullying is a very real thing. Affecting over half of young adults online, it is generally done by bullies called trolls. These trolls will invade your privacy and ruin your social media experience. Here are some ways to prevent that. Set your privacy settings on all accounts. Only accept friends. Trolls are not your friends. Don't release any personal information. Block suspicious accounts. And tell a trusted adult. Use these tips to help keep you safe on social media. Don't get trolled, stay safe online, and stop cyberbullies. The boys basketball team defeated Blue Valley Southwest last night in the first round of Substate. Come out and support Friday night at 7 p.m. No passes will be accepted. Admission is $6 for adults and $5 for students. The theme for tonight's home girls game is tie-dye at 7. This will be the first round of Substate for the Lady Vikes. Make sure you come out and support. SHS Baseball will be hosting a dodgeball tournament on Saturday, March 10th at the middle school. Entry is $36 per team. There will be six players per team. See Coach Bush Bushnell for more information. If you are interested in participating in 5-on-5 five -five soccer with the Vikings Uni United or Unified Sports, see Mr. Comey practice begins next Tuesday, March 6th. Now over to Josh with the weather. Well, Vikes, have your shampoo ready because we are watching the potential for some showers to move into the area over the next couple of hours. I don't expect any of this to be particularly heavy, but you can see some patches of blue here and there. Can't even rule out the chance for a couple of rumbles of thunder or strikes of lightning this evening, but any remaining precipitation tapers off around midnight before we fall to around freezing. For tomorrow, you might wake up to a few clouds, but those will be long gone by the afternoon as we warm up to around 50 degrees. And now, on your SVTV 5-day forecast, you can see 50s and 60s through the rest of the week. A little bit more cloud cover and winds on Sunday. Today in history, it's National Public Sleeping Day. And when you're sleeping, that's when the Tooth Fairy comes. Now, back to your anchors. We talked to Veronica Fails to learn more about the Pi the Teacher fundraiser. Let's check it out. 
Hey Vikes, I'm here with Veronica to learn about the Pie in the Face fundraiser. What exactly is the fundraiser for? The fundraiser is for a girl who just graduated. Her name is Mackenzie Brown. She ended up having a ton of brain tumors and she's needing a ton of surgery done. So all the money we raise is going to go and help her pay for the surgeries. How can students get involved? The way students can get involved is by donating money and you donate money to the teacher you want to get pied in the face. Anything else you'd like to add? Our goal is to raise $2,000 and also the teacher who wins or raises the most money, they get to pick another student or teacher to get pied in the face with them. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. Who do you want to get pied in the face, Allie? Personally, I want Elliot. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. That's all we had today, Vikes. Make sure to wear tie-dye tonight at the game. Have a good day.